Hello and welcome to Talon's most recent sandbox. Today I'll show you how to get your personal big data sandbox up and running. This new sandbox platform is very exciting, for us geeks anyway. We've taken things up a notch and have enabled your sandbox big data experience to be driven 100% on Docker and Talon Studio. Before we dive into open our new virtual machine, I must download the virtual machine from the Talon website. We support both VMware and VirtualBox. I'll also need to save the files in a location that has 15 to 20 gigabytes of space available. I'll open VMware to access my virtual machine. I will select Open a Virtual Machine and browse for my file. If I was using VirtualBox, I would have to use the File and Import Appliance menu option to browse to where I placed the file. Once the virtual machine is in the virtual player, I'll check that my memory settings and NAT network settings are as they should be. I must have internet connection for the sandbox to successfully complete all of the necessary configurations during the initial startup. With everything set, I'll click power on this virtual machine. After a few moments, a status bar gives me updates on the progress. The starting up of Docker, installing the Talon Studio, importing some initial Docker containers such as Kafka, Zookeeper, and Cassandra. This is all to allow me to run some of the simple demos right away before looking at a Hadoop distribution. Once the initial boot up and configuration are complete, the virtual machine will reboot to assure all of the Docker containers are registered in the host files and working correctly. I won't try to stop the first boot up or disconnect my internet connection because this will cause all sorts of issues with the required services on the sandbox. After the first reboot, it's smart to just give everything a second to start back up. Once the reboot had finished, a web page populated asking me to choose between Hortonworks or Cloudera for my Big Data Hadoop and Spark experience. But I can now open up the Talon Studio and check out some exciting demos to run on the embedded Spark engine. Once I select Manage Connections and enter an email, I'll be brought into Talon Studio. I'll be prompted to download some additional libraries. At a minimum, I should select the third-party libraries and click Finish. And now I could begin working with some of the existing demos that run on Spark. I now want to try Talent out against a Hadoop environment. I'll choose inside the sandbox to import a complete Hadoop distribution via Docker. It is a good idea to have the studio closed to do this, because as part of the script, it will import a project into the studio that works with the distribution selected. In the background, a new Docker container is being imported and registered on the system. The containers are 2 to 3 gigabytes in size, so it may take several minutes to download. Please leave the VM running during this time. Once everything is set up, the VM will reboot to reset the IPs and host files. It's a good idea to open the Weave Scope page to observe all of the containers being initialized. Once everything is up, I'll see Kafka, Zookeeper, Cassandra, MySQL, and the Big Data Container Choices, Cloudera and Hortonworks, on the web page. Now I can take the cookbook from the desktop and get started right away by running some examples or building my own jobs that show me what I want to see in the big data environments. Thank you and enjoy!